Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Playframe and Psychonauts 2, where everything's gone very pear-shaped and wet. So, we're gonna go find help back in the direction of the mother lobe, hopefully. Lily ran ahead. I don't know who we're going to get help from. Oh boy, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, float, float. That didn't work. Because, like, all of the Psychonauts are now... I said float. Oh, you can't just jump into that, huh? Okay, fine, fair enough. All the Psychonauts are kind of out of commission. Or at least the ones we would go to for help normally. So maybe we're going... Maybe we'll go and get some help from the fellow interns. The ones who don't suck. There we go. Eh. Or potentially from our family, that would also work. Actually, that might work better. Let's start with family. But our quality never will. No, no, or Otto. Me. Otto, do you want to help? No, oh, no, wait, no, wait, you were there too. Eh. Two pins for that special projection in your life. Yeah, okay, we better top off. Well, we don't have any cards, so never mind. We grab a few items. Oh, wait, we can afford the thing I've been saving up for. Let's go ahead and do that before I forget. Wait. We can get a thing to tell our projection to shut up. We can get a thing that changes the look of our projection, which is fun. Uh, projection goes faster. Uh, projection explodes into confetti upon death. That's also great. A lot of good, a lot of good options here. But let's go ahead and get this so they're all easier to save up for in the future. And let's equip this over. I guess I've not been petting animals very often. So here, I'll swap this in, because mental magnet's like a must. I'm enjoying our colored ball, so let's, uh, here we go. Tell me if that works. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. <laughs> Will do. And I think that'll about cover it. I can get one more of these just to Ooh, play it safe. Some of those too. My mental energy has been lagging a little. Okay, I think we're equipped for success. Let's go. No refunds. Titanium wing. I hope my family is still at the camp. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. I lost her, Rasputin. what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. Yes, fire pine cone. Time for the devil's fire holes. Quippy, on the bottom. I don't know how this will help. that water the curse isn't real dad it's just something Ford put in our minds to keep us safe you sure about that of course he's not sure but what choice does he have oh boy you ready Raz? no so do it quick I'll try.
This should be interesting. My, my. Cool. But oh so ominous. Okay, well, let's, um, yikes. Um. That's right, and there's more where that came from. You, you tell the statue, Graz. <sighs> let's see if we can do some good. Uh, here we go. Boing! Hmm. Well, this is cheery. Yeah. Hmm. My grandparents were part of the protests in Grulovi after the war. It didn't end well. That it did not. Here's a scene I was hoping not to see again. Oh, yeah. Grandma Morona. My real Grandma Morona. And my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. Well. Alive adjacent. Um, all right, looks like we got some more art to destroy. You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. Yeah, you better, uh... <laughs> you got a little time, Raz, you'll figure it out. Yeah! There we go. I'm gonna pay for that later. Yeah, probably. Whoop. Okay, now where? Uh... Nona? Yeah. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Raz. I'm your great nephew. <laughs> I mean, not that I think I'm great or anything. Just that you're my grandma's sister. And I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. Another bit of trash and he divorced from the streets. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Um? Sam, two of you are no more threat than one. In my time, I have vanquished entire rocks. <laughs> Power of whale. Whalegram. Hello, whale. Lucky to meet Mental Esmeralda. Uh oh. Careful, children. Oh, dear. Oh, I fear a storm is coming. Hmm? <laughs> I am the deluge of Grolovia. No, no, no. Let the streets be cleansed. 
Here we go. I'm not afraid of you. You're just an overgrown lust for violence and destruction. Okay, that sounded scarier than I wanted it to. <laughs> but you're actually a normal part of any human mind. <laughs> hmm, alright. Shots don't do much. Can dodge these. Nope. I can. I will defend Grulovia against all her enemies. Can't grab you. Okay. What else could I potentially do here? Well, we could get an archetype. We could also try to literally grab. And we could also try slowing. Also that. We may try that next. No. No. Hey. No. Uh, okay. Slow. <laughs> that sort of works. All right, can't grab you. What dares block my flow? I don't know, lady. Have you tried eating prunes? The problem is she's all twisted up in knots. I got something that'll help you. Unwind. Ooh. Um. Uh oh. Ooh, that looks painful. It's okay. I have another one. <laughs> okay then. We fight. <laughs> we also need fire for all those. Let's see. Ow. There's the mental energy. There we go. Back to your quilts, weakling. Hey, that little old lady's inside her. Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Wait, what does that even mean? It means run! Whoa! Oh boy. Listen. You're a natural part of the fight-or-flight complex, but you're supposed to be smaller. Stay Ow. down in the primitive brain until needed. Let's try that again. Not get knocked into water. Eh. Nope. Dodge. Dodge. And heal. There we go. I'll help you get out of there, Nona. Let's see. We could slow you down. That's something. We could also pull in a friend. Ah, don't say I never gave you nothing. Thanks, friend. That little boy looks thirsty. Uh, that health kind of got away, but thanks for being a distraction. You're great at it. You're doing awesome. Um, now this probably won't work, but no, it killed my architect. Sorry, buddy. Nope. They aren't messing Hickey's around. Friend. Eh. Dodge. Dodge. Ah, eh, come on. I dodged. Better top off. There we go. <laughs> Just do little shots until someone helps. Stay away from the Votor booty! You heard the Lady Rasputin. Let's get you away from that water. Whoa. Sorry, I thought you were the mole, Raz. Let me make it up to you. Ooh, she looks steamed. All right, I will count that as mostly having redeemed yourself. Whoa. Mostly. Ah, geez. Okay, we're gonna need, we're gonna need some of this. Dad, ah. calm down. Throw me bombs, please. Bombs. Bombs. Uh, it's the bombs I want. Give. Ah. Hitting the wrong button and I'm just getting smacked around here. There's no good. You get slowed. Eh. Ow. Boy, you hit hard. Probably because I'm being stubborn about how I beat you, but whatever. You are very fast. That will not do. Eh, there we go. That's what I need to happen. Ow, uh. 
Thank you for the mental energy, Psypop. You are slow. Why didn't I stock up on Psypops? I did. They just go so fast. Ow. At least I got some fluffs, right? Eh. Be slow. Be bombed. Don't dodge. Hey. Not cool. Bam. There you go. Still be slowed. Thanks for stunning her. Yay. Thanks for the help, interns. I'll put in a good word. Isu, Norma, are you? Nona, if you can hear me, this thing is not your fault. Ford's experiments opened the door and let it out of the lower brain. The Tsar and his roar made it grow. This is going on long eh. enough. I'm getting hit by everything. Come on. Be dead? No, don't. Eh. Bad water snakes. Be dead. Never underestimate the power of pirate radio. Roma came to me, upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening. At least one of them. And they told the others. Thanks, Morris. You owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? Deal. You got it, buddy. All right, let's finish this. Marona wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. What do you listen? I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! What's so bad? Eh? <laughs> I kill lots of people! The only thing I can offer now is everything I've got. Whoa. But there's always room for one more! Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. Crowley dug his little hole after all. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna fill it. He got into the pit. Okay. okay. Pyro breath. Yeah. Oh no, we've been pushed back. <laughs> oh, what a final battle. Yeah. Breath back. <laughs> uh, what a good finish.
Uh oh. You can't get rid of me. I'm a part of her. Big deal. Everybody's got something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs. I'm glad she got to do that last part. Thanks, water. Raz. We're cool. Hey. Do you have a funnel? So that's it? Caligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? Hey, it was different when I did it. There was a monster, and, and then, uh, and now... Uh, I think she deserves a second chance. And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? This is good. She needs the break. Now that's leadership. Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. <laughs> but we all deserve a second chance. <laughs> you've seen us at our worst. And we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! You are all now officially Junior Agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? I'll take it. Yay! We're almost promoted back to where we started. And I'll call that a win. Hey! <laughs> Good times. Ah, oh, this game's been a treat. Double fine, well done. Ah, <laughs> oh, this has been an absolute delight to go through. Well worth the wait. Yeah, like I, I think I earnestly do like this better than the original game, and that original game is extremely special to me. So that, like, this is quite an achievement. And we're not done, of course. L like I said, we're going to be semi-completionist here. So if if you are uh, if you're just here for the story and you don't really want to see any more, well, that's totally okay. Uh, but I think we got another episode or two in us for. Uh, 
running around and trying to get all the collectibles and stuff. Because I, I believe there's also, my, my understanding is there's also more conversations uh, to have with people wandering around uh, once the game is over. And I'm very interested to uh, hear those. So we'll do some wandering for the rest of the week. See what other fun stuff we can find before uh, putting this game to bed. But, uh, I guess uh, since some people will probably be leaving off here, I'll go ahead and just get the spiel out of the way. If you've enjoyed this, uh, we've played so many games on this channel over the last few years. I've got playlists for all of them and are in the like playlist tab of our channel. Uh, and we are releasing at least one new episode like every day. So, uh, so please consider subscribing. Go, oh, animators here. Well done, animators. This was very fun to watch. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, please consider subscribing if you're enjoying this, because again, we're releasing stuff all the time. And uh, <laughs> also, we have a Patreon, and if you'd like to support us there, uh, even just a dollar a month, we're super appreciative for. And if you are supporting us even for just a dollar a month, you get to participate in votes. Like, uh, let's see, the next game we're going to be playing next week, which is a little bit more uh, seasonally appropriate, was one that our patrons voted for. And uh, every time we get like a hundred patrons uh, supporting us, we do we add on like an additional bonus playthrough on top of whatever else we're already playing. And the patrons get to vote, like get to pick what that game is. So the Portal 2, which we've been playing lately, that is a bonus playthrough that the patrons voted for and picked. So if you want to participate in future votes or help us get to that next uh, bonus playthrough milestone, then please uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Uh, but. Whether you do that or not, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have, which is to say, a lot, because <laughs> this has been a treat. Like, I I've said it during the playthrough itself, but the fact that it is just as funny, just as inventive, but on top of that, also really gorgeous looking, like, uh, they've really made the, the aesthetic of Psychonauts sing on modern hardware. And even more importantly, the fact that they are coming at this, this world and this subject matter with just as much comedy while at the same time bringing so much more empathy to it and so much more care for the subject matter. And uh, like th they've handled it a lot more delicately and appropriately, or just a lot more mindfully than, uh, than they did in Psychonauts 1. And that's really elevated this, in my mind. I, I don't know what is next for Double Fine. I, uh, <laughs> I hope they've gotten a well-deserved break after the release of this. And uh, I'm excited for whatever's coming next. I would love for that to be more Psychonauts, of course, but honestly, whatever they want to work on, I'm here for it. Because everything they make is always just creative and fun and unique and no other studio really does it like them. <laughs> Let's see this voice cast though. Richard Horvitz always nailing it as Raz. I wonder if there's any other names I reckon. Well, Jack Black, obviously, as Brain in a Jar. Steve Bloom, yep. Darren DePaul, that name's super familiar. I bet I know a bunch of other things Darren DePaul worked on. <laughs> That's always the feeling I get watching... <laughs> watching uh, credits like this. Oh, Erika Ishii, I didn't know she was in this. Cool. Josh Keaton, another super familiar name. I'm gonna have to do a little IMDB dive after this. And Yuri Lowenthal, of course. Once you start recognizing that voice, you will hear it everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we got to have more Psychonauts at all. Because, again, like any of us who enjoyed the original game when it came out, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a lot of people <laughs> at the time, extremely, very cult hit, in its day. Oh, Fred Tataskiori. Cool. Very much a cult hit in its day. We saw how poorly it did, and we just kind of accepted, yeah, we're not getting more of that. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, Carrie Walkerin. Cool. 
as a lot of people. Jeez. And slowly seeing the game get the recognition and praise it deserved over time as it became, uh, as it got ported to like PC and became, hey, Travis Willingham, nice. And Elijah Wood, of course. As, as the game got Dave and Dave. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, we're not in the voice cast anymore. We're at, <laughs> we're in other like uh, studios who've pitched in. Anyway, uh, g getting to see the game slowly get the praise and recognition it deserved over time as more people got to experience it was uh, a delight. And it slowly started kind of getting our hopes higher that like, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get to see more Psychonaut someday, maybe. And uh, we started getting like little hints and like clues that maybe it'll happen. And then uh, finally seeing that uh, fig campaign pop up or them actually going for it was just such a joy. And it's been a lot of years since then, but uh, worth the wait. I'd have been thrilled if this game came out and was just like kind of okay, like a fine enough follow-up to Psychonauts uh, that had to be scoped way down or uh, just didn't land, just like maybe like Psychonauts' window as an IP had kind of passed and time had moved on. But nope, like uh, this has exceeded my expectations. And I hope all the folks at Double Fine are super proud of themselves because uh, <laughs> they did an exceptional job. I look forward to uh, playing this game some more on my own time. I wonder what other Double Fine games we could do on this channel someday. Like not soon. I've got a, I've got a queue built up <laughs> of games I need to get through that are going to last at least through the rest of the year, probably a bit longer. But, uh, let me think, like, what other Double Fine games are there? There's Brutal Legend, which is a content ID nightmare never gonna happen. But maybe I could... If I could, like, turn the music off entirely, I could do, like, a one-off demonstrating some of it. But honestly, if you turn the music off, you take half of the appeal of that game out. So, uh, I I'll just give the recommendation. Brutal Legend is on Steam. It is usually very inexpensive. And, uh... If you enjoy the cleverness displayed here in Psychonauts, Brutal Legend has that in spades. I don't think it's quite as good a game, as solid a game as Psychonauts, but uh, the inventiveness is 100% there. And, uh, oh, hey, Gwen Frey. Nice. Oh, that's right. I knew Gwen Frey did some like early work on this. Yeah, cool. Um, the inventiveness is 100% there. If you like the idea of running around a heavy metal album cover, a bunch of heavy metal album covers, uh, driving a hot rod through those <laughs> album covers, listening to an enormous playlist of every subgenre of metal. Like with lots of characters played by actual heavy metal artist legends. <laughs> uh, it's, it's very, very good. It's a very good time. Like even when the game is a little clunky here and there, or the, uh, even if the genre of play doesn't 100% like appeal to you, because it's, it's a bit of a, like a mix between kind of a Zelda game and kind of an RTS. Like I think it, I think it was originally intended to just be sort of an RTS, and then the uh, more like 3D action adventure sort of thing got uh, welded onto the campaign a bit more. It's it's a, it's it's a bit of a mishmash that doesn't 100% work, but uh, the creativity and the the appeal of the world and the cleverness is 100% there. So. Definitely recommend that if you've never tried it. Also, if you want to see Jack Black playing a lead role, because <laughs> he uh, plays the main character in that, and it's great. And you get Jennifer Hale and a bunch of others. To, like, it's uh, a game worth your time. But other than that, let's see. We've got Broken Age, which I enjoyed. Uh, more of a traditional point-and-click adventure type game. We've got... They made a Sesame Street thing, which I never played back in the day. And that might have been a Kinect only game back when the Kinect was. <laughs> uh, they made Iron Brigade. Well, no, it's not called it's not called Iron Brigade anymore, is it? What is it called? Uh, or is that what's it called now? They made a game that's sort of like a tower defense game, kind of. Uh, that had to change its title. And I'm trying to remember if Iron Brigade was what it started as. Oh, that's gonna bug me. What was the other title? I'm blanking. Comments, help me out.
Mm, it's gonna bug me. They made another game is my point, which is pretty fun. I wouldn't mind revisiting that a little bit. I feel like I should be able to recall. There's another game that they've made or had a hand in that is not springing immediately to mind. But I'm game for playing, uh, for dipping into other uh, Double Fine projects in the future because like, the, the kinds of games they make and the creativity on display just really speak to me. Like, I, I love so many games that come out every year. There, there are more great games coming out annually than I could possibly ever keep up with. But when there's just like, every year there's a sea of big, enormous budget, relatively playing it safe AAA games. Uh, and there's like every year has their trend chasers. Uh, every year has their just sort of more like a uh, samey kind of feeling uh, projects out there. And every Double Fine game has some level of just raw creativity in there. Like a clever idea, a clever concept. And I like that they're always a treat in that way. They're always bringing something different and unexpected. And I really, really cherish that. But even if, even if the gameplay doesn't entirely grab me or completely work for me, even if it doesn't entirely come together, that creativity and willingness to go for that creativity uh, is something I appreciate a lot. And my name is in here somewhere again. <laughs> uh, probably once we get down to the Fs. And to thank you to all these other backers as well, who helped to make the game happen. And I guess to Microsoft as well. There's, uh, I've not finished watching all of the behind the scenes documentaries about, uh, documentary stuff about the development and production of this. Um, I will now, now that nothing can be spoiled for me. But, uh, my understanding is that they were going to have to make a lot more cuts to this to get it shipped and uh, released prior to the Microsoft acquisition. Uh, like, I think... Uh, I heard somewhere that, like, boss fights basically were just going to have to get cut entirely because it was just not going to be feasible. But the uh, the acquisition meant that they were able to uh, keep working on the game a bit longer and uh, fully flesh it out. And I'm very happy for that because those were some really inventive boss fights. And uh, yeah, actually, I will go ahead and also pitch. Um, yeah, I've not watched all of the behind the scenes stuff for Psychonauts 2 yet, but I'm assuming it's pretty good. If it is anything like uh, the documentary series they made for the production of Broken Age, then I highly recommend it because that Broken Age documentary, which I believe is just called Double Fine Adventure, I think it might all be on YouTube. I believe it is. Uh, I highly recommend watching that if you are interested in what game development is like. It is the best, I would say it is the best documentary at capturing what it is like to make a video game at a like mid-sized to small studio at really any scale. Because unlike a lot of documentaries, it is one that is being produced while the team was working on it. And the, uh, the documentary team was kind of embedded in the studio from like for every step of production. And when you're in the middle of a production like a game, there's always that like there are so many problems that you run into, like not having enough money, having to like cut down scope, having to like figure out design problems or ideas that aren't entirely coming together, having to figure out all the practicalities of like scheduling with voice actors and figuring out how to put out fires, like all of these like game dev is an adventure and a really can be a really stressful one. <laughs> It can be a real nightmare sometimes. And that documentary captures the highs and lows of that entire process in a way that a lot of others don't. Uh, it's, it is very similar to, like I've recommended the, the documentary, The Sweatbox before for capturing what it feels like to work on an animated film. And I think that Double Fine Adventure is the, the sweat box of video game development. So highly recommend watching that if you've not before. It's a, uh, it is extremely informative, and uh, it's eye-opening. I'm gonna have to come up with a lot more to talk about. Because <laughs> we are only in the seas. 
Oh boy. Tell you what, we let's go ahead and uh, cut to the end of the credits here. <laughs> or at least cut to the end of the uh, backer segment. Because there's no way I'm going to figure out enough to ramble <laughs> to myself about to fill all this time. So, uh, scooting ahead. Okay, I think we're in the home stretch here. <laughs> and it's a good thing that I had us cut ahead because, boy, this has uh, taken a while. <laughs> I would definitely have run out of stuff to talk about. But we're here. Thank you for playing. Ah. My pleasure. I knew I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. Yes. And that's good reason enough to do it, I think. Well, I think we're gonna... I think we got enough for uh, two more episodes left to do around here. We'll do, like, one... We'll do one episode in which we... Uh, tomorrow we'll go back in to all of the brains and collect all this, the uh, stuff we missed in each of those worlds. And then I think on Friday we'll wrap it up by uh, wandering over the uh, overworld hubs and grabbing all the stuff that we missed there and talking to characters and seeing what other conversations there are to be had. Does that sound good? All right, y'all. Take it easy. I will see you tomorrow for some collect-a-thoning. Goodbye!